What's up, what's up everyone? Jason here and today we're going to be talking about the top six sales prompts that you can use ChatGPT to empower your sales. This is an amazing video that you do not want to miss. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Number one is ask the right questions to understand the particular needs and pain points. So let's use the example that I'm selling. A, I'm a salesperson selling home gym equipment. So maybe like dumbbells and like a home gym kind of comp, uh, package or something. All right, so I, I typed in, can you outline, this is the prompt, can you outline some pain points or customer needs for a sales offer to a potential customer where I'm offering a home gym package to them? So they're thinking about convenience, they find it difficult to make time for exercise, cost, gym memberships could be expensive, health concerns, they're concerned about public places, personalization, so you can customize your own needs to your preference, um, accessibility. So some people go to the gym, it may be not be possible because of mobility issues, time saving, and a variety. Some people get bored with the limited equipment at a gym. So yeah, this is pretty good uh, customer needs or pain points. All right, number two is to highlight the benefits of the product or service. So here is a prompt. So I typed in, outline the benefits of a home gym package to a potential customer for me trying to sell them on purchasing the home gym package. So I typed in the benefits, so it's some of the same ones above, uh, convenience, privacy, health and safety, versatility, uh, and then I typed in what are the features that are also beneficial to them. So features and benefits, so focusing that is really important. Here are some of the other features that you wanna to use to highlight that particular uh, product or service. So you've got the equipment, uh, you got space saving design, instructional materials, customizable options, durability and quality, and warranty and customer service. So definitely highlight some of these features with whatever your product or your service is offering because that's going to be really important to kind of sweeten the deal you know, for whatever that, again, product or service is that you're trying to sell to them. All right, number three is to create a sense of urgency. So I typed in create a sense of urgency for my home gym equipment offer and a sales conversation to a potential customer. So it is outputting that now. Um, so putting in like a limited time offer, limited stock, a seasonal promotion, an upcoming event, some kind of exclusive offer. So yeah, these are really good um, things to add into whatever you're uh, offering for your sales pitch. Now in this case, again, I'm using home gym equipment. So if you're doing like landscaping or some other kind of offer, this is gonna change a little bit. All right, number four is a social proof example. So you want to use ChatGPT to come up with some kind of social proof. So this is really important for testimonials or like accountability, authenticity. So it is really important to kind of add that or try to add that in. So like our product or service, you know, has been featured in several publications or many of our customers like, you know, blank uh, have seen significant results. Customers have purchased home gym equipment, have seen great results and have shared their success stories with us. One customer and you want to input, you know, your own examples of real people here because that's going to be really important. So they've got Sarah. She was able to lose 20 pounds. John shared that he was, so this is really important. This is the magical transformation kind of close. Uh, so you wanna show the before and after kind of examples here. So especially for home gym equipment, you wanna show people before and then after using the gym equipment. So it's really, yeah, really important. So this prompt right here is fantastic for uh, providing social proof. So number five is offer a specific solution to a specific problem. So I typed in what are the specific problems that a home gym package can solve for a potential customer. So, and there's some repeat here from above. So convenience, cost effectiveness, flexibility, privacy, the health and safety concerns. So it's really important that when you go to have a solution to the specific problem, that you highlight those um, when you're trying to make a sales pitch. All right, number six is use persuasive language and positive phrasing. So I typed in, can you share a positive phrasing and persuasive language call to action 
for offering my home gym package to a potential customer. Imagine being able to achieve your fitness goals from the comfort and convenience of your own home. With our home gym package, you'll have all the equipment you need to get in the best shape of your life. Don't let inconvenience and expense of a gym membership hold you back. Take the first step towards a healthier, happier you by investing in our home gym package today. You won't regret it. So I asked, can you make it more sales focused and add in features and benefits? So it is now adding in, are you tired of overcrowded gyms, long wait times for equipment, expensive memberships? Our home gym package is the solution you've been looking for. You'll get a, a complete home gym setup, everything you need, but that's not all. When you invest, you'll also be investing in your health and wellness. So don't wake it. Yeah, this is good. So you can take this and customize it uh, any way that you want. So there you have it. Those are the top six sales prompts to use for ChatGPT for sales. What are some other ways that you found for sales prompts and how you're using ChatGPT for your sales? Please let me know in the comment section down below. And please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, 90 4% of people watching my content on my channel are not subscribed. All it takes is five seconds to hit that subscribe button. So please hit that, support my channel, and uh, please remember to, if you have any questions or you wanna see other things with the sales-oriented content or ChatGPT, drop them down in the comment section. I wanna know how you're using ChatGPT in your business or in your freelancing or in your job, however you're using it. Please let me know. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to keep moving forward and I will catch you guys next time.